All 900 students at AUC live together on campus for all three years of their study. We are really lucky we get to have this option, and I do not think we could have gotten a better deal. Not only because finding housing in Amsterdam is seriously stressful, but because we can study and live with our friends. This led me to the feeling that I was part of AUC's tight-knit community. There's always something going on in the dorms. Weekly dinners, study sessions, and most events are only two minutes away from the comfort of your own home. Trust me, you won't want to leave after your three years are done. And here we are at the student dorms. If you choose to come study here at AUC, you get to choose from three different types of rooms in these three buildings. Let's go inside. There are three general types of rooms, and I'm going to show you an example of each. I want to emphasize that when you arrive at AUC, your room will be unfurnished, meaning you need to buy your furniture and appliances when you get here. It may seem a bit daunting at first, but it's actually very manageable. There are a number of Facebook groups where you can buy items from fellow students, you can arrange to buy furniture from former tenants over the summer, or even go to IKEA. We even have a laundry room in two of the three buildings. It's not free, but it's convenient. The first type of room I want to show you is the single. This style of room is the most common on campus, with around 600 rooms of the 900 living spaces being single studio style rooms. Each of these types of rooms have their own bathroom and kitchen facilities. I love having my own space. As you can see for me, books are a must. Many students get creative with their furnishing, and there are all kinds of possibilities for decorating your room to your liking. You can always indicate a preference for a certain style of room when you're applying to AUC. The earlier you apply, the more likely you are to get your first choice. In a double room, you live with a roommate and you can decide how you want to divide the space. For example, you could share a bedroom and have a separate living space. Or, as you can see here, you can make two separate bedrooms. The final type of room is the largest and is more like a full apartment. The apartment consists of a big living room and kitchen on the ground floor and two bedrooms on the upper floor. Each bedroom is shared between two people. Being the largest of the apartments, it's certainly the most social option. I've even had friends who've moved out of their single rooms into a four-person room. That said, it's also possible to switch your room while at AUC. You can usually request a change at the end of your first year. So if you want to change, you can, but you don't have to. And many people end up keeping the same room for all three years. Sometimes you just need a bit of fresh air, and that's easy to find at the dorms. In each corridor, residents have access to common rooms or shared balconies, which are in full use when the sun is shining. If that's not enough, between each of the dorm buildings there are courtyards. These are great for picnics, reading, or just hanging out. During the year, there are events that take place where all AUC students come together to celebrate. We've reached the end of our tour. I hope I've given you a good idea on how it is to live and study at AUC. Please feel free to contact us via the website or talk to a student real-time via Unibuddy. We hope you enjoyed it. Bye!